good friends, we are here with the Thorn versus uh, Guo. This looks a lot like a team that uh, Obi used last week. We can just rewatch. I missed ten turns. Guo has some um, more balance-ish team. So he got to lead right, but there's a Mungus in the back, so that doesn't really care about Natchez Madness since it has a generator. But it's the um, Marek immaculately doubles out. If he's Bandit Zygarde, he gets a huge hit here. That looks to be Bandit, that does a lot to the tab of Fini. And, like, Natchez Madness, yeah, doesn't accomplish much. She's forced to move. Yeah, this is really well played by the Thorn. Well, nice double into Merrick there. Fires of Shadowborn, I assume? Oh, Earthquake, okay. That is a lot, though, because it's Bandit Zyga. That looks like a super offensive Zyga. Maybe not even HP invested, because that's so much. But yeah, Tapu Fini gets 2 KOD. I assume this is fast Zyga. Yeah, 1000 uh, arrows effect levitate. Someone asked in the chat there. Superior took 41, good god. Men's double into Merrick. Elf clicks the trend so he gets a kill, but that elf put a lot. Um, it's nice for him because he kills the trend to keep rocks off. But that band, it's like it's just blowing everything away. Good god. <laughs> the guy jump took so much too. Yeah, this looks super like an OB team. Locks himself in the outreach, and Scissor can Mega Wolf and Roost here. Mm, I just woke up in case you were wondering why it like, sound weird or something. Hope everything is uh, fine. Hope I have music in the background. I just let me check. Hey, I don't have my earphones in. Yeah, there should be a Giratina music in the background that I put in for you. Like, I guess you can consider you turning if you max a Texas or to kill the Garchomp, but you will be really low because you would take rough skin and outrage. It's like roosting is the better play. Yeah, exactly. Hope my mic's getting picked up and everything. I haven't checked my recording program settings because I just started my computer. Like, this Zygarde is just holy cow. Like, he has no switches. Superior also took 41. Um, like, Bronzong gets destroyed because it gets affected by Levitate. He gets a 3 turn outrage, which is horrible for him. So, I mean, he lives barely, but this is also, like, decently healthy. And I assume it's Scarf Kaleo here. And he will just fire off. Now he could be Carmine Kaleo. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Scarf Kaleo because it looks like an OB team. So he doubles up, predicting the, the Tabu Fini. Nice play. Didn't want to go for Skull and let the Fini heal. I mean, he could have also doubled the Zygarde, because that pretty much killed the Fini from there. So, hmm. He's gonna go to, hmm. Oh man, he overpredicted. I thought he was gonna go to Merrick here. Because that covers Heatwave and Discharge. Oh, Merrick was low, never mind. I didn't know Merrick was that low. I forgot to pay attention. I uh, took an off power from Heatran and Sibyl. So I don't think he had a reason to over predict there, cause okay, he lives again. It doesn't matter, like actually it doesn't matter if he doesn't Yeah, they would have two it KO'd. I don't know if you know if it's the rocket yet. We don't know if it's the rocket yet, it just revealed two earthquakes. I'm not sure if I, I probably missed a few SPL games. I slept way too long. <laughs> Keck. Yeah, what does, what does he even do here? Like, the Metaverse just clicks Shadowborn and gets kill if the. I don't think Heave can kill from this range, and I don't think he has HP ground or anything to kill him. Like, you would have to bank on this not having a lightning rod to kill with discharge, but I'm pretty sure it has a lightning rod. 
Because it's only other, his only other electric immunity is Guard Jump, which gets tossed by HBI, so that's not a reliable one. Yeah, Shadow One has 5 million that are killed. Pretty sure he will just go for water move this time. Um, ah, even Hydro Pump might not do it, kill Fini. And he was missing, so. Nah, I think doubling out is fine. Because, like, the Thorn, he wasn't in a good position with the Zygad, but. That Heat Wave must cost him, and he kind of. I would predict that the one turn was the, f was the Fini. It also cost him a bit. I mean, I get his play, he predicted the Merrick, but it didn't work out. Yeah, doubles again, nice play. Works out, but the Fini gets lefty, so he's kind of forced to discharge because he lets this heal more. I think heat waving here is okay. You have to make the aggressive plays if you are the Thorn. I think he's gonna go back on the Murak. But yeah, interesting to see a uh, Sun and Moon, Sun and Moon Oyo game right from the start when I wake up. Well, just <laughs> I mean, I didn't like wake up immediately, like just wake up. I'm like up 30 minutes or something, but I probably sound like super weird at the moment. Um, I hope I didn't miss John's game. John should was supposed to play between 11 a.m. and I think 11 and 12 or 11 at noon. And it's like 11.17 now. And I think this is the only game going on to the moon. Let me check. I think so. Yeah, okay, never mind. He goes for discharge. Predicts him to not go Murray. So that was well played by the Thorn. Like, I don't know, like... I guess that was a mind game that he won. That was well done. That was well done. I cannot say anything. I probably would have lost that mind game. <laughs> Kick. Merrick just clicks Shadowbone now and gets a kill. Pretty much. Kelly would be nice to keep if it has HP Electric to check uh, DD, DD Gyarados, but. He also has a Zapdos, so if he keeps that healthy, that's fine. He also has potential E speed on Bandit Zygarde and Bull Punch, double priority. Among Us is also fairly healthy, but he just has to like get the, the turn right where the Gyarados goes for Sky Strike. I assume it is Sky Strike Gyarados. It could be Mega. Uh, he didn't show Z move yet, I think. He could be. Uh, I think he didn't show Z move yet. I assume Z Gyarados, obviously. So if he has Among Us out and. He goes like Gyarados, the, the Zapdos to right turn. So I didn't think he would go into Scissor. But what else was to say? The Zapdos is important for the Gyarados, like I just said. Um, maybe it has a move to kill this, but Yuzan doesn't kill. I don't think Bullet Punch kills. He would have to have knockoff or hmm. So they're saying it's Zapdos versus the world. He clicked his move, but he says he's lagging. Hopefully he doesn't time out, that would be awful. Yeah, I'll be super pissed. Yeah, see, Yuton doesn't kill, so he has to sack something here. I think Scissor was... I mean, Scissor still roosts on Bronzong. It also roosts on... If the HP... If the superior has HP ground and not HP fire, it also roosts on that. It also roosts on uh, Garchomp locked into Dragon Claw. But yeah... Smerrick is just putting in the work. What do you think he is the question? Like, Zygar gets a kill whenever Merrick um, or Bronzong comes out, so I think you keep Zygar. I think you sick. I think you sick kill your Among Us, but I'm not 100% sure. Like, that, they're all nice to keep, honestly. Th tough decision. Sick Zygar, okay. Didn't thought he would do that. Oh, nice! Gets it correct, and it's not—it's not rocket. Okay, so it, that was a nice play then. Wow. I—I I thought he would shadow bone. Why, why? Why did he not shadow bone there?
Yeah, I don't understand why you flare blitz. What the fuck? Like, huh? Shadow Bone killed everything. I mean, maybe not the Among Us, but you had speed the Among Us anyway, I assume. Yeah, I don't, I don't get it. Okay, time is off. Nice. So we will not see anyone timing out, which is amazing. Um, yeah, this game is actually interesting. Nice that I caught this. Um, whatever you said is in English. Don't <laughs> don't ask me grammar questions about English. Um, yeah, my voice might be too low. We'll fix, we'll fix next recording. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, this will be interesting to see if he has the Hyper Beam. The Hyper Beam would be so amazing, please have it. I don't even know if it kills Among Us. Okay, never mind. We don't see potential the Hyper Boom come out. Okay, so the, the Zong gets put to bad. And I assume he goes to Gyarados here. And I think Thorn goes to Zapdos, so actually, actually Gyarados is not a good play then. Like, Gyarados is pretty, Zapdos is pretty free here to get leftovers. And pretty much he beats everything when we won. So what is even the double for Go- I think God just loses this, like, I don't know why he blitzed. He could've kept his Murak around to, like, get Shadow Bones off with- ah. So, I don't know why he went Scissor. Zapdos was, like, fine there, but he has a Mungus to check this anyway. So what what does he have to worry about? He's like in a decent position. After these two went down, and like I said, this is fairly healthy. The song's asleep. Um, I mean, not that this really matters, but the song being asleep means no habits. Even though, uh, let me check if the Zeptus has pressure on. I assume it has pressure on Defog. Yeah, the Zeptus has pressure. I only saw it revealed this charge at T-Bolt and okay so he sex the Kelly there for some reason. I think he could have Wait 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 did he double switch from Among Us to Killed? He did double switch, so he predicted him to double switch or not go for clear smog. So that was a nice That was an aggressive play by the Thorn that didn't work out at all. He predicted him to go bronze on there. But he said I misclicked, okay. I was really confused about that turn because like even if the bronze zone comes out, what do you lose if you're the zone? The bronze zone is asleep anyway, like that was an unnecessary play, but he said he misclicked, so okay. Actually kinda of like kinda of wondering that I can I can think kind of clearly, like considering I'm I didn't eat yet. I saw Zapdos here, this judge on heat wave. Remember that one correctly. I don't know if it revealed anything else, didn't hover over it when it came out. Maybe the reveal views, let me see. Says I revealed Receptus didn't. We can have over it now. Yeah, only real T wave in discharge. Okay, so he gets the, the Zapdos in on a double switch, which is amazing. And gets a discharge off. Bronzo takes it fine, but he can just fire off heat wave, get more lefties. Yeah, that was nicely played this time. Okay, misses the heat wave again. This is gonna get like this is annoying, but it just makes the game a bit longer. I think this one has this is the log run. Um, a potential toxic on Bronzong would be huge to whittle the Zapdos, which is why I understand going Scissor there. Yeah, well, well done, well done. Um, you just roost here, and uh, you just go hard, hard, to, hard among us. I mean, I don't think the Thorn can lose this, but you never know. You never know. I have said that multiple times in other games and people have brought stuff back. Um, he just goes, yeah, he just plays it safe there, which I can understand because he has been playing fairly aggressive. Um, you could just go into, I think Zy, if you're, f if you're confident he doesn't wake up, you can go Zyga, but Zapdos works. Zapdos is fine, but Zapdos just still risks having potential toxic, just didn't reveal any moves yet. Which is really weird because we already turn 37. But I think Zyga is the play. Uh, not Zyga, Zapdos. And, I mean, if he goes for Toxic this specific turn, wakes up and Zapdos comes in and he catches his... That is amazing, That's that will be bad for the Thorn, so maybe... Maybe Scissor was the better play, yeah. Agreed, completely agree with this play. Amazing scouting, worked out, he showed Toxic there, if he went Zapdos there, it would've been super bad. Like, wow. And I kinda even, like, I even thought about this play myself, so yeah. Shoutouts to me too, Keg. <laughs> Yeah, you just bullet punch this. 
like, yeah, get some chip and now you can zap this. I don't think this would run to Stone Edge. I mean, it could, it could technically run Stone Edge because, like, looking at his team, he's kind of weak to Zapdos, honestly. So he's Mega Gyarados, kind of revealed there, because I don't think Mega Gyarados wants Crunch. So he's probably Zemo Superior then. Is he Hyper Beam? Or, hmm? I think he is. So the Zong gets Parrot there, that's some Hex for the Storm, but he missed every Heat Wave so far, because, yeah, I think he missed two or three Heat Waves so far. So that's nice for him. Um, he just goes back in the Scissor here. I mean, the Bronze can go to the Rocks, but... I don't think it's too too big of a deal for the thorn. Um, okay, he just gets paralyzed. <laughs> this is just for the heat wave miss. It's just some justice, I would say. Yeah, <laughs> NGMP, why is it Mega Gera ass man? Keg. Okay, he gets off the rocks. Zyga gets a kill. Like, I guess Gerardos could switch in once, but if it doesn't have, like, rest or anything, it just gets too. T like, it cannot pressure the Zyga. It could kill the Zygarde, yes, but... It would just weaken the Gera. I mean, I don't think Gera is winning this anyway, because there's a Mungus, there's a Zapdos, even though rocks are... And there's a Scissor too, which can take a hit and you turn out. Does the Sapophini ever do anything? <laughs> I mean, it's a reliable defogger, there's the, the, the Whirlpool set that can trap walls. I don't think Tepofini is a bad mod. So he sacks the Scarf Chomp. Not that the Scarf Chomp was doing much this game, like... But the Scissor around, I guess if he had a fire move, he could have predicted correctly and gotten a kill, potentially. So we will eventually see if it's the Hyper Beam, which I assume it is. I don't think that the Z Shadow Psych set with Miracle is that good, because I think... Hmm. Do you have a do you have a beam hits most targets harder anyway or the same power? Even like yeah. So nice doubling around by Gua, which is what he has to make. Like which is the way he has to play because he has rocks up and it's like his only win condition. But it doesn't it doesn't help him. He has to double again here, he has to double again. Predicting scissor. Which he does, and the thorn says no predicts him to go superior. Then the thorn catches him, um, adapts to his playstyle. Well done. <laughs> How's this game still going on? I went and had a meal. What the fuck? <laughs> Cake! I mean, this game is really interesting. I guess the reason it's still going on is because they were almost timing out and they were lagging. And he went for HP fire there, because it hit the, the, the superior and the bronze one. Yeah, that was really well played. I don't know what to say. Um, yeah, this one is playing super, super nice. I'm a fan of him, JK. No, I mean, on this game, I'm a fan of him. If that is even correct English. So, we'll just rush here. Oh, Defog. Okay, that also works. Yeah, Defog is pretty nice for the Zapdos and for... Because Scissor also got chipped away. Doesn't have leftovers since it's Mega, obviously. Why does why do people use Bronze Long Wizard for? It's for double ends landers. It honestly checks a lot. Yeah, Lele. So he gets the U-turn crit, don't think that will be game deciding. Yeah, that's a lot of tape for landers. It also checks um There was another one that I forgot that it checks. Gets another crit. Um that one didn't I don't know if that one mattered because it's bandit. And now um, we will hopefully see the Hyper Beam for some action. I want to see Z move in action. Yeah, that is. Is it Hyper Beam? It is Break a Blitz and it does absolutely nothing. I blame Shake It Up GG, what? Zapdos just. Uh, Scissor just wins. Saiga just wins. This game is over. Yeah, amazing, amazing playing with the Thorn. CM Bronzan would have won after Trendai. Like even like he cannot even dodge heat waves at this point, like heat waves. I mean Mongoose beats this alone. Scissor beats it. Saga beats it, everything beats it. Yeah, you know, yeah, that's what also what I wanted to say. It has earthquake to hit. 
Magnezone, which could trap it. And his off could do a heat tune really hard on a potential switch if we predict that correct. Uh, well, well, nice even for the Thorn. Um, I will just end this. Keep it shorter. We'll not look at the forms. Um, to sp if you guys like. No, I don't think. I don't think I missed any games, but I will check right after. Thank you guys for watching. Um, honestly, surprised by how interesting this match was. Oh, I didn't expect to get a good game just after a few minutes after I woke up. Peace out, friends. Um, and a lot, lot more SBL coming. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. And bye. Thanks for the support, by the way. Kick.